Yo, what is up guys? And today what we're gonna be doing is how to get better in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So the first point is that you have to fine-tune your class. One of the biggest things you can do to greatly improve your performance is find the perfect class setup. It is important to realize that, that the best class may vary from person to person uh, depending uh, on the type of player he is. For example, some people play better with assault rifles or some play with SMGs, some play better with snipers. It uh, depends on the person. If you really want to do better, you're going to need, need to design a custom class setup based on your personal playing style and strengths. So the second point is go for critical, a major thing that often determines who wins in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation in any Call of Duty game is aim. Skilled players know that landing bullets on the head is the quickest way to take down any opponent. Headshots are given a special damage modifier, effectively increasing damage dealt. So guys, the third point is that not to you have to experiment. Uh, no, you don't need to experiment with that friend of yours that you'll awkwardly stop talking to with score streaks. Believe it or not, the streaks you select can have a negative or positive impact on your gameplay too. While most players typically run a combination of UAV, care package and low tier uh, streak to gain an extra kill or two, that's not always the best way to play. A lot of players will find that non-lethal strikes can actually be more beneficial in helping you rack up gun skills. So the UAV is an obvious choice being able to get sweeps that reveal any locations on your radar is always helpful. The counter UAV is useful too. After all, the less your enemy knows about you, uh, where you are, the better. The fourth point is that you should customize your weapon. Another great tip is to mess around with different attachments on your weapons. It may seem obvious, but some players really don't put a lot of consideration into what they equip into to their guns. The fact is, however, a simple attachment can often make, a, make or break a gun. Some weapons, for example, have significant recoil which has a negative impact on your accuracy. Sometimes simply throwing a, on the grip attachment can convert an otherwise terrible gun into a killing machine. Attachments are another thing you'll have to test from gun to gun and find which ones work best for your own skills and preferences. Fifth po uh, point is Master Movement. There's a brand new movement system available for players to use in Black Ops 3. It's somewhat similar to the exo movements in Advanced Warfare but much more subtle, learning to master these new maneuvers is crucial to becoming a skilled player. One of the best things that Treyarch developers stress in is chaining your movements to together to get across the maps faster. This is kinda true but at the same time not. The new movements are honestly but yet best, best used for executing quick dodges and taking shortcuts. Chaining can be helpful but you need to be careful. Wall running, for example, can be both beneficial and dangerous. It's great for taking a quick shortcut across a part of the map you normally wouldn't be able to cross on foot. But on the other hand, it also makes you more vulnerable to enemy fire. Plus, even though you can fire while running against the wall, your accuracy will often be slightly degraded. So you really want, only want to do it when you're in the clear and just want to make a quick, you know, shortcut and stuff.